Hello, welcome to West Anime Sims. My name is Kelvin, and how are you doing? In this build tutorial, I'm going to focus one more build tool item, which is the drawing tool, to find out any new ideas how to use this build tool. Let's check it out. So most Sims players, including myself, will just use the floor tool just straight up. Just click and drag with the desired floor texture you want into the area we want it or if it's in the room you just shift and click and you are done so i'm going to try to give some ideas to make our houses a little bit more different so the first one is the checkered floor this one is an absolute classic because i started doing this since the sims one days all you need to do is one portal and just place it alternatively and I use another color and to fill up the spaces. And there you go. So I'm going to try to show you another way to do a checkered wall, which is using a Control F button to initiate a quarter tile toggle. So we have these triangular pieces and just click like this vertically and place these little diamonds like that and use another color to do the fill up the empty spaces and there you go two different styles of checkered floors the next one is parquet flooring so this one is similar with the checkered floors, just that I'm going to use only a single floor tile floor texture. Usually this works best with the wooden planks. But all I need to do is do the same thing like I did with the checkered floor, place it alternately. And then I rotate with the greater than or less than keys. And then place the horizontal direction on the empty spaces. You can do a little bit of a basket weave pattern like this if you have four textures with a stripe like this. Another way to use this parquet flooring is to use again the Ctrl F and then to place it alternately like this and rotate fill up the squares and there you go you actually created a new floor pattern so the next idea is some creative ways to create an outdoor pathway so instead of just do a straight up path like that to lead to your house i'll have like a alternate stones like that or you can do alternate stepping stones like that as I shown here or even better to use Control F again to put diagonal tiles like this to look like a stepping stone or some arrows pointing out to the house this next idea is customized carpet and rug so instead of buying rugs from the buy mode, so you can actually fake a carpet or rug by using this floor tool with the carpet texture division subcategory. So you just drag a rectangle and there you go, we have a customized rug. The good thing is you can get any size you want and any particular color or style you want you can put textured carpets if you want to and it's less expensive than buying an actual rug and sometimes it might not get the size that you want or the color that you like if some of the floor tiles have these corner pieces you can place and rotate into a form of frame like this a nice border or your carpet can be as big as the room border outside of it 
with your diagonal edges of your room you can put place your quarter turn tiles with quarter control F and speaking of control F you can use it to your advantage to create even more interesting designs of your rug and the final idea I want to share with you is a mosaic pattern floor so basically it works both outside and inside of your house so you can just paste so you just use Ctrl F again to place quarter tile triangles like this and you arrange it to a shape or design and you're thinking of okay in my mind I'm just pitballing how to do this so you can use up to two to three colors so usually three is the max I would use because it will any more than that you overpowering but if you want to have a lot of floor tiles or one touch of floor tiles um, by all means you can do it different textures and different patterns you can create a little bit more and intricate designs with this mosaic pattern so I'm thinking I'm going to do a Heart shape and tada! This is the finished product. Okay, since you guys stayed watching this so far, thank you. And I will have a bonus idea for you guys. So let's check out what it is. So, other than using floors. Painting floors, you can actually paint the ceilings in The Sims 2 and 3. So you can click G key to toggle this view and you can see the ceiling view. And you can paint any floor tile on your ceilings. You can also apply what you, we have learned before to your ceilings to make a very interesting ceiling design. Okay, that's pretty much what I want to share about using floor tools creatively in The Sims. So what do you think? Please leave me a comment. If you have any more ideas about how to use floor tools, you also can leave a comment as well. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to West Anime Sims for more updates on retro Sims content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye!